Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to talk about two new characters that are going to be released with Jiao Chu in the upcoming version 2.4. One of them is Yun Li, who is going to be a great addition to the Honkai Star Rail. The Honkai Star Rail community has been buzzing with excitement recently, as the latest kit from Yun Li has been making its way around. Many were surprised by this, as Yun Li's kit had been a source of disappointment for some. So, what's the story behind this? What made so many people disappointed with the release of the kit? So, without further ado, let's dive into this video and explore everything about Yun Li. We will start with the kits, idolons, and the light cones. Let's get this party started. Do you have a character or weapon in the game that you really want but you don't have enough stellar jades? Here is a smarter way to recharge your favorite games like Genshin Impact and Honkai Star Rail. Look no further than Loot Bar. Loot Bar is the most reliable top-up platform, saving 20% for all orders compared with the official channel, and an extra 5% off for your first purchase. It's 100% safe as you will only be using your UID. We will buy a pack for 3000 stellar jades for $42 which otherwise would have cost $50. Is having $7.5. We received the crystals we purchased in less than 3 minutes. All recharge will be done through the official channel with Mihoyo, which allows you to enjoy all top up offers. Ready to level up your gaming experience? Check the link in the description to get the amazing discount. According to the information, Yunli will have a basic HP stats 1358, attack 678. Defense 460, Speed 94, and Taunt 125. First, let's talk about Yunli's HP. It's a pretty impressive number, especially for characters on the same path. But her attack and defense stats are a little bit low, especially when compared to Clara, a character with similar kits. But of course, this is easily forgiven when we consider that her basic speed is slightly better than Clara's, which is 94 points while Clara only has a speed of 90 points. Let's dive into the basic attack. The Gale Spin Somersault is a fantastic move that deals physical damage equal to 50% to 130% of Yunli's attack to a single enemy target. It's a great basic attack and it's similar to most characters out there. It's basic attack so it's not perfect but it's still pretty awesome. Alright, let's dive into the next kit, the skill section. Bladeborn Quick is an amazing skill that will restore HP equal to 20% to 35% of the Yunli's attack plus 50 to 258 points. It will also deal physical damage equal to 60% to 150% of Yunli's attack to a single target. And it will deal physical damage equal to 30% to 75% of Yunli's attack to the enemies who are next to the main target. When compared to the skills possessed by Clara, of course, the skills possessed by Yunli have the advantage of being able to restore HP by 35%. However, we need to remember that Clara is a character that has existed since this game was released, so the time span is quite long. I think the kit should be better than this, and I'm excited to see what improvements will be made in the future. Also, I think this skill still has room to grow and become more unique if we compare it to characters that have been released recently. I don't know, maybe Hoyoverse will make improvements in the future, which would be amazing. What do you think? Now for the grand finale, the ultimate kit, Unilis Earthbind Ether Break. It's a beast of an ultimate, and it's going to blow your mind. I know it's long, but stick with me. When this ultimate is activated, it will consume 120 energy, then get ready for the best part. Yunli will get a buff called Block, which will turn all enemies on the battlefield. This block is only active until the end of the turn of the allied or enemy unit. When the block is active, the critical damage owned by Yunli will increase by 60% to 100%. And that's not all. When this block is active and Yunli performs a counter that comes from her talent, she will perform an attack called Counter Intuit. Call. It's an amazing ability that will produce physical damage to the target of 144% to 288% of the attack of the Yunli's attack. It will also produce physical damage to the target around 72% to 144% of Yunli's kit. And there's more. 
Yearly will also deal 6 additional hit damage to random enemies, with each hit dealing physical damage of 48% to 96% of Yunli's attack to random targets. If the buff named block is active but does not counter until this buff is finished, then Yunli will perform an attack named counter into it slash, which will deal physical damage to random enemies. Counter into it slash is an incredible attack that deals physical damage equal to 144% to 288% of Yunli's attack and around 72% to 144% of Yunli's attack to the target. Wow, that was a pretty long description. I know maybe not all of you will immediately understand the description just now. But I highly recommend reading carefully for the description of Yunli's ultimate. Anyway, in my personal opinion, this ultimate is pretty unique. It still has some similarities with the ultimate owned by Clara. But the advantage is that the kit owned by Yunli doesn't need to wait for the enemy to attack first. Or even does not need to wait for the enemy to attack twice. To spend the buff that comes from the same ultimate that Clara has. We can say that the ultimate owned by Yunli is an improved version of the ultimate owned by Clara. In terms of damage, it also greater than the ultimate owned by Clara, because Yunli has an additional 6 hit damage for the strongest ultimate version. Now let's dive into the amazing talent of Yunli, Flash Forge. When Yunli is attacked, she will counter with incredible force dealing physical damage to the enemy equal to 60% to 150% of her attack and to surrounding targets from 30% to 75% of her attack. If you read this description, you will definitely remember the talent possessed by Clara because it's very similar. Clara also has a talent that can immediately counter the enemies that attack her. And Yulis is the same. The difference is that Clara's talent only attacks one target while Yunli can directly attack three targets at once through her counters. It is clear that Yunli's talent is far superior to Clara's, but I feel that this kit is too similar to Clara. It might make Clara's performance seem a little less impressive, as if Yunli is Clara but with better upgrades. I think Yoyoverse could create a more unique kit than this. Please don't think otherwise, I think this talent is an excellent addition to the game. Yunli will be able to provide excellent output, considering that this talent will be active continuously. Unlike Clara who must activate her ultimate first before she can deal damage with 3 targets at once. These kits are very similar to those owned by Clara, which certainly not everyone is happy with. However, I think this is great improvement, especially for players who use Clara as their main character. Now let's talk about her amazing technique called Posterior Precedence. Once you use this technique, you will get word effect for 15 seconds. And when you enter the battle while attacking the enemy or being hit, you will immediately give an attack from Intuit called to a random target. The damage from this attack increases by 18%. I think this technique is incredible. When the battle begins, Yunli will immediately unleash its strongest attack on the enemy, even though the target is random. It's a very useful technique, and the damage output is impressive. With an additional 80% damage, it's fantastic technique. Next, we are going to dive into the amazing traces section. Before we get into the traces, let's take a moment to appreciate the incredible status we get from them. According to the information we have, we are looking at an additional attack bonus of 28%, HP 18%, and critical rate 6.6%. From the additional status given, it's clear that Yunli will be a DPS role that's going to be a real asset to the team. We will get a lot of bonus attack status and a critical rate. Now let's talk about the first trace, Viery Wheel. When Yunli is attacked by an enemy, she will get 15 extra energy. This first trace is perfect for the kids owned by Yunli because Yunli is often attacked by enemies. This trace is perfect for helping her reach her ultimate faster. If Yunli has a maximum energy of 120, this trace means she only needs about 8 stacks to reach 120 energy so she can immediately issue her ultimate. Amazing, right? The second trace is called Demon Quell, and it's amazing one. 
With in block mode produced by Yunli's ultimate, Yunli can withstand all crowd control received and can reduce the damage received by 20%. This race looks pretty good at first glance, of course. But considering the very short duration of the block, I think it looks not that good. What do you think? Okay, now we get to the third race, True Sunder. Issuing a counter that comes from her talent, Yunli's attack will increase by 30%. In my opinion, the third race is a very good race. Why? With Yunli on the battlefield, it's pretty clear that she will get attacked a lot. The destruction path has a taunt value of 125, which means it's likely to be targeted by the enemy. Also, using the light con, which we will talk about later, can make it more likely that the enemy will attack her. So it's pretty certain this third trace will be active more than 90% of the time in the battle. Now let's move on to her Edelons. The first Edelons, Weathered Blade does not sully. A damage generated by Intuit Slash and Intuit Call increased by 20% and Intuit Call extra damage hits increases by 3. Now that you have read this description, you know that Eidolon's 1 is absolutely amazing to Yunli's ultimate. It increases the damage output of her ultimate by leaps and bounce. And the best part is that it's really easy to achieve. Eidolon's 1 is the most valuable Eidolon's among all other Eidolon's. And that's not to say that other Eidolon's are bad, but the first Eidolon is worth achieving because its effect is really good for Yunli. Now for the second Eidolon, which is named First Luster Breaks Dawn. Yunli will increase her own critical rate by 18% after her turn is over until she gets her turn back. This is basically the free critical rate for Yunli. Remember, most of the damage Yunli does is outside of her turn, so this is a huge advantage. And there's more, with an additional 18% critical rate outside of her turn, it's clear that the counter damage she produces through her talents will become even greater. Even with an additional 18% critical rate, the overall damage produced by Yunli will be much better. And the third Eidolon's named Artisan's Iron Song. When Yunli counters and deals damage, it will ignore 20% of target's defense, which is pretty amazing. Okay, the third Eidolon was also pretty good. Ignoring 20% of the target's defense will certainly also help increase the damage dealt to the enemy, which is fantastic. This Eidolon is just as awesome as the others. It will increase overall damage because most of the damage produced comes from the counter itself. And the last Eidolon is Walk in Blade, Talk in Zitter. After using the ultimate, if the next unit to get a turn is the enemy, then Intuit Call will automatically come out, no matter if the enemy targets Yunli or not. The block effect produced by Ultimate will not disappear and it will continue to exist until the end of the next turn. This effect of Eidolons is also very good for Yunli. Just imagine for a moment that Intuit Call will continue to come out even if the enemy does not attack Yunli when Yunli releases the ultimate. In addition, the block effect will continue to come out until the end of Yunli's next turn. Which means that the 60% of critical damage increase effect will continue to active and can be applied to all counter attacks until the end of the next turn. It's a very good effect. The only downside is that this effect is on Eidolon 6, which means it's quite difficult to get. Now let's dive into her light cons in version 2.4. We have Dance at Sunset. It has an effect called Deeply Engrossed. It will greatly increase the odds that the wearer will be attacked increases the wearer's critical damage by 36%. After the wearer uses their ultimate, they receive one stack of fire dance, lasting for two turns and up to two stacks. Each stack of fire dance increases the damage dealt by the wearer's follow-up attack by 36%. Okay, the first time I read the description of these light cons, I thought that these light cons could also be used on Clara. Absolutely, if we are talking about Yunli, it's clear that this light con is a tailor-made for her. 
it has so many useful aspects. But after a moment's thought, I realized that this light gun is also great for Clara. She can use almost all of its effects. So if you don't want to pull for Yunli, you can gacha just for the light cons. Okay guys, that's everything about Yunli and what do you think? Do you wanna pull her later? Please leave your comment in the comment section below. Also don't forget to check out my another video. Thank you for watching, stay safe, stealthy and see you in the next video.